Hey Aries, so I'm here to do the first part of November's love readings, I can't believe we're on November already. <laughs> uh, these readings will be extended, so if you're watching me on YouTube, you can click the little V sign and it will drop a box down with all my uh, links to social media, etc, my website for one-on-ones. Uh, but it'll also take you to Vimeo where the extended, where you'll find the extended. If you watch me on Instagram, the link is in my bio. So I'm going to dive straight in for Aries for the beginning of November, the first part of November. Past life relationship. You've known each other before is the main centre energy. So what's crossing that energy for Aries? is reconciliation someone from a past life is returning maybe this life maybe not <laughs> uh, someone from your past is returning into your life i'm kind of actually feeling that this is not in this lifetime i feel like you may have already come across someone who feels very familiar um or someone actually from a past life is returning and um, when that happens this person feels very familiar um you don't get the butterflies you don't get the excitement because you've known each other before how exciting aries why is it coming around now passion allow your heart and soul to sink with joy to me that's about raising your vibrations and it looks like you've been doing the work in order to raise your vibrations especially in regards to self-love and then what does that do it you know it kind of attracts love and then we've got getting to know each other so you may have already started speaking to this person um, or it could be coming in quite quick. We've got, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. I'm getting a very familiar energy. Like it's just so easy. In the past, so recent past, we've got release your ex. So release any expectations of, a, you know, of an, uh, another party. Um, it looks like you've been through turbulent times in order to release somebody. She is actually doing a full moon release there, if you can see. She's burning her letter to the divan. But the time has come to clear your energy. The time has come to clear your energy because you're getting some past life soulmate vibe going on, which is really exciting, Aries. Why is this coming around now? So at present, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So it's almost like you don't even have to work too hard for it. It's, it's what is meant for you will always be for you. And it looks like it's coming to that time, Aries. I love it. Near future, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And that is what I was saying a minute ago. When we change the vibration, the frequency that we're on and the, the energy that we're putting out there, we bring in things and beings of situations of that vibration that we're on so to me it looks like you've seriously done some work on raising your vibration in order to kind of like shine your light out to this person who's been looking for you for a long time you know your power wedding this situation involves marriage so in a past life you could have actually been married you know, some of my areas, if you've been, if you split from, I am going to clarify them, but if you split, if they was like, if you're living together as you're a married couple in this lifetime, um, there could be reconciliations coming in, someone coming back from your past. I'm kind of getting two different ways of this, but I'm very, I'm getting a really like very spiritual vibe on past life, past love, uh, that type of thing. It feels familiar. It feels like you're bonded to someone. Outside influence, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. That can be friends around you. That can be friends in spirit. That can be your, you know, your spirit guides in order to move on forward. It's very spiritual reading there is. So spirit's hope for you is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like that's what you've been doing. I feel like you've like, gone into an adventure of self-love, like self-achievement. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like respecting yourself and how you portray yourself. But it's all about you. I said that at 444, so you might want to check angel number 444. The outcome for this situation... Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I'm definitely getting a 
strong spiritual vibe Aries it's uh it's nice energy <laughs> it's nice energy and these love readings usually end up a bit like um, a soap opera but I'm lacking this it looks lovely Let me get some clarity on this for you and then in the extended I've gone FBI mode and digging in a lot deeper so, past life relationship for Aries, King of Wands. So, you could be dealing with a fellow air sign. Uh, oh, I nearly said air sign then. So, you could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, Sagittarius Leo Aries there, the King of Wands. This past life relationship. So, you could be dealing with a King of Wands or a Queen of Wands. Tarot has no sex, no gender. They just have a different outlook on things. Reconciliation. Six of Wands. Victory, public recognition. So you've, someone's recognising, again, the light in you, because we've got the darkness here. You're shining the light, that, you know, you're vibing high. On top of that, the world. <laughs> Putting yourself on this pedestal. So what's crossing that energy is the fact that you do need to wrap up cer certain cycles with uh, with the past release your ex. It doesn't have to mean release a person. It could be release um, feelings, thoughts, um, things that have been brought onto you by other people. Um, in order to like kind of wrap up that cycle with the world card and open a brand new one, it's like the oyster is yours, baby. Grab the pill, you know, it's nice. So, why is it coming around now? I've got to get to know each other, so you could be talking to somebody. I've just got a flyer. So, you may be wanting to offer your cup of love to somebody, or they may be wanting to offer their cup of love to you because we do have passion getting to know each other. So, there could be communication through texts. If it's not happening, it could be happening very soon. We've got the moon in reverse. See, you're under no illusions. The death card, Scorpio energy there. We are in Scorpio season now. But I feel like you've ended some kind of illusion. So you may have really wanted something in the past. Um, you may have really like been trying to manifest someone back from the past. And then what you've actually done is, because you've gone into the self-work and the self-love, you've manifested... A true soulmate from the past someone who you were energetically bound to uh, in a past life it's like an easier vibe you know we have the karmic uh, relationships we have the soulmate relationships you know soulmates are here to teach us things but to also like to teach us how to love our love ourselves um comics can bring hectic patterns <laughs> release your ex we've got the hair infant. you are being divinely guided forward in love because of recent past events in love looks like it could have been turbulent you've got your fire back so it looks like after a time of burnout you've made a massive return it's like it's all about me i am doing what is best for me you know you're in your element the fire you know you're ready for newfound passion five of cups i'm no longer crying over spilt milk i'm no longer looking over the past because i know there's a two of cups behind me you know i know there's a two of cups out there looking for me let go of control issues. I feel like you kind of are going with the floor. And then we've got the two of cups. Because you're kind of letting go, this two of cups just comes flying in. <laughs> I love it. So we've got the strength card. You could be dealing with another face there. We've got Leo here. But to me, that's about you taming the inner beast. So where things haven't gone right in the past in love, you've kind of taken the lessons and, you know, turned that pain into a power to move on forward. And you've turned that inner beast, that fight or flight beast that we all have inside us. And I feel like it, that's why it's safe for you to love because you're putting that effort in towards yourself. It's a brilliant reading. I love it. We've got a hermit in reverse. We've got Virgo there as well. But it's time to come out of isolation. It's time to... I know we've had a lot of isolation in the world and things like that with the lockdowns. But I feel this is more emotional isolation. So you've kind of isolated yourself whilst you did the work on yourself. In order to move forward, you are coming out of that, the King of Cups. So to me, I feel like this is you, like, ready, emotionally stable, ready to venture forward. Could be going towards the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, someone who's very emotionally, we've got the page of cups, so there's definitely an offer coming in. Uh, you wanted to make an offer or an offer coming towards you. Uh, both water, but it's something new. It's something exciting. Pages of something new. It's messages of something new. Um, someone who's emotionally invested, someone who's um, 
ready for what you want because it looks like you want commitment because your power on top of the wedding card is teamwork makes dream work it's about bringing in a partnership rather than a relationship we don't need it to learn any more lessons we need to go forward and be happy we need to release the past the outside influence to that on top of let your friends help you is the full card take the risks have a leap of faith you know i feel like that is more like your spirit guide saying to take the risk I know it might be scary because of what you felt in the past, but you're never going to know if you don't try. So on top of the love yourself first card, we have got the five of pentacles in reverse. To me, that's about periods where you've blocked yourself from love because you were having to deal with the past. The only way that you could look after yourself was to actually block out that type of love in order for you to realise self-love, self-worth. Clarify the five. Yeah, the Seven of Wands, you could have been quite defensive for a while. You know, a lot of healing though, but feeling like you had to like kind of um, defend your beliefs and decisions, even if it were towards yourself. No, I'm not just ready to share, you know, that type of energy, that is going because you've unblocked that energy now. It's time for you to be happy. So your spiritual Six of Swords. You've learned all the lessons that you need to learn, Aries. It's time to go from storm waters to smoother waters. You've all kissed enough frogs. It's time to go forward now into something more. You know, you're going on the spiritual path. And the Ten of Cups, it's time for you to be happy. I absolutely love that reading. Love it. So I am going to go straight over to the extended now, but if this is where I'll leave you, I'll leave you love, love and light, and I'll be back next week for the generals, and if I see you over on the extenders, I'll be there now. Bye.